Welcome back. We were recently given a few pricey quotes just to change the oil of our onboard Onan generator. So you guys know me, it's time for a little DIY. My husband is gonna be changing the oil while I record and let you guys know what's going on. While we have done regular engine oil changes, neither of us has ever done this before just to give you guys some context. Before we get started, I wanted to share a couple of other quick, cheap things that we recently did to update our RV. If you don't care about that, I put chapters in this, so you can just go ahead and skip to the oil change. We did put, if you can tell, the reflective uh, window tent on all of the windows. Um, forgive the dirty RV. This is the woes of a white RV, I guess. And we installed a ladder on the back right here pretty easy installation there were so many videos already of this we didn't want to post that but it wasn't super difficult um, we just had to actually cut this bar here the the top part in order to make it fit better and then it just comes together with these two joints right here so then because we installed the ladder we were actually able to put this is like a camco chair kind of situation over here. So all it does is it clips, let's see if you can see. It clips on to your ladder and then allows you to stabilize uh, like beach chairs on here, which is kind of awesome. We did find that maybe it's just these chairs, but they rattled a little bit on here. So we did have to end up using a zip tie. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on, on how that works out for us really pretty good I feel like you have to be kind of like up close to kind of see through it but I think like at a distance you can't really see inside when I have the curtains open so maybe maybe like a little bit I think it's maybe like you can see you can see the light like right there but you can't really see like straight through or you can't see me if I'm working in there so the only window we couldn't add that tent to is um, the window that's here in the kitchen you can see that the light on is inside, but you can see it has kind of this textured glass. So we weren't able to uh, actually adhere the tent to that. Um, but you know, we were able to do it here. So that just looks completely mirrored. So this one too, you can see. And I think it really adds a little privacy when I do want to just go ahead and have all the windows open. Step one, we need to get our drain pan down and get this little cover out of the way down here. This was not a Phillips head bit for the screws on our cover, but it was one of those torque bits. We took off one and just swung the little cover to the side, and that's gonna be how you're able to get to the generator drain plug. I would also advise you to make sure that you either have a tarp or something else down under your drain pan just to make sure that you keep your area clean from spills. You can see that I used an old flat rate box that was headed for the recycling bin under ours. Step one and a half, make a tiny new friend. Step two, before draining the old oil, we're gonna fire up the generator just to get it warmed up. It doesn't need to run for a super long time. We just ran ours for a few minutes and then shut it down. Step three, time to drain the oil. You may wanna keep a few paper towels handy or consider gloves but you're just gonna reach up and unscrew the little bolt that's holding your oil in. Go ahead and wait for it to drain all the way into your oil pan. You can see how shamefully filthy our oil was, so it was for sure time to change this out before getting back on the road.
Once it stops draining, you can screw the little plug back in at the bottom. Step four, time for new oil. Now you're gonna need to look up your specific model of generator to find your exact oil type and quantity of oil to put in. We're just gonna run the generator again, not for a long time, but just for a few minutes to get the juices flowing. Once that's done, you'll check the oil level one more time. And all that's left to do is clean up your mess and dispose of your old oil. We dropped ours off at AutoZone free of charge. All in, this cost us way less than it would have cost us to go to a place like Camping World. I put links to everything that we used down below in the description box. No appointments, no lines, and the money we save can go towards something much more fun. I don't know about y'all, but I feel ready for the next adventure. So that's it for me, guys. Till next time, go forth, be kind, be creative.